I need it for. And it's hefty table. The same thing it was a lot of effort mixing in when I got it new. But um, yeah, my gosh. <laughs> It was a big table, this one. And it still is. I just haven't got around to doing all the picking up all the scenery yet. I mean, now I lose, but I need to find basically all the parts for this layout. Well, we'll come off this layout. We'll go on my proper layout, which I'll be putting up, setting up during the summer or something like that. So yeah, it's not only really cheap, but I think it'd be worth it in the long run because once I set the light set up, I will be good to go. And hopefully, and I'm certainly sure my next layout will be permanent. It won't be just the same thing as that. I'm certainly I'm most sure when I set my proper layout up, it will stay permanent. It won't be moved. I just need to draw them out correctly and plan out well because it won't be a cheap one way of doing it because these things are never cheap but basically it will be a permanent layout for me from a new place but I'm basically just clean up this table at the moment just a little bit it doesn't have to be a one big job at the moment because there's too much stuff to be done at the moment so I think like I'm doing more of it during the weekend. Um, that way I don't have to show too much <laughs> extra um, rolling stuff I've got because there's so much rolling stock and ballast. And, well, I'm not ballast at the moment. That's basically just loads of rolling stock spare, which I'm going to be putting to my new lap in due time because obviously my new lap will be they're part of my new hobby. Well, not a new hobby, it's my, one of my really old hobbies. Will I have any more hobbies in due time? Probably not. I have to spend my time on trains and things like that because my trains are my, my most important thing, passionate thing in my life. It's my hobby. I don't know why I would get yeah, to spend my time playing trains or playing some games on the PS4 I have now. But most of the time I like playing my trains. That's what I like doing most. I've got a big news going, alright. Yeah, that's a book. Well, it's not a book, it's a magazine. Rubbish, and you've got your EW40. Yeah, so I've just got so much to go through, guys, and I want to show you this video properly, really, but I think what I'm going to have to do during the week, maybe during June and December, when I'm doing the weekend reviews, um, Basically, June and December is the only time I can show um, Timber! Just got my drill basically falling apart. I let people use my drill from time to time. Family, what they do. If they need something to put up. But, um, Yeah. <laughs> Let's put that button there. Like so. I'm basically just organising this area at the moment and I'm gonna move the camera, which is over there at the moment, and I'm gonna get the train running for you. There we go. Just give it about a nice speed, about a gentle speed. Yeah, 
and then she stops. Which means there's a connection loose at this end. She's not tiny travelling around the track properly. I'm going to get some track cleaning fluid soon too. I haven't done that for a fair while, but I need to get some in. It's just money. It's money short. It seems very difficult. I've got some liquid in with me because I get thirsty quite a lot when I film. I am looking to get another necklace, I'm not totally sure which necklace I'm going to get next, but we'll have to see, um, see what ones are out there. It's nice always having nice to have a few different ones, but, but I do like my necklace one, but it's just, I don't like wearing just the same one all the time. I like to mix them around with it. Right. I'll keep my eyes on her as well, so keep my ears open in case she does have her own next one. Just giving me a table of clean up really. Because I'm going to show you a little bit later on properly, but right now I'm just going to do a little bit of sick time. Yeah, that's going to be an easy fix. That should be an easy fix. I think it's job on it. You can reuse it. Right, I don't know that I like the point for you one more than the other thing. And it's just because of um it's the fan favorite one. Right. Right. And I wonder that had run around was food in the country in the same ones, but that's the one doing it, that in the run and the place we're going to start with. It's going to be at some point this year or no new next year, 10th and 10th place. But, um, hopefully, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, I think some stuff will be wrapped away when I move, before I move, wrapped away with the bubble wrap and special stuff. Um, um, so, yeah, it's just going to be a little plain layout for this table for the time being, until and the new owner to be able to get to the table to you know, decide what, you want, what they want to do with it. And, and it's a big table, because it is it's like 16 foot by uh, 15 foot wide long like table. It's an extra conference table. You could be really use it for that. There's a few holes in it, but, and there's a few screws left in it, but I am trying to take them out. It would be basically just some holes left in it from the pieces, but you can always um, patch it up with a new wood over it and do that for a bit of it. I always slow down to that corner, I don't know why. But I was probably guessing there's a sort of dismantled 
Yes, I've got a bunch um, fake locomotive by the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> I like it. Um, predated from 1928.